What is up everyone, this is Mole Gamer here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Black Ops 6 error code update require that's kind of stuck in loop when you keep doing it, it just tells you an update require and you're just basically not able to get through. So this is Steam Tutorials, I'm going to show you what to do. So what you're going to do is right click into Call of Duty, uh, click into Properties, go into Installed Files and do Verify Integrity of Game Files. A lot of times this just fixes a lot of these issues because it's, because it's entirely possible one or some of the files were corrupted and then doing this fixes that. This will take some time so FYI. Now, if that doesn't work, the next thing you can do is click into Browse, find the COD.exe uh, file, and essentially right-click into it and go to Properties. Oh, wrong thing. Right-click into this, go to Properties. In here, go into Compatibility and do run this program as uh, Administrator. Press Apply, press OK, and then let us run its course and see if that fixes it for you. If not, the other thing you can do is, in general, change the launch options to dash D3, D11, and force it to essentially run in DirectX 11. A lot of times, again, doing different things makes these issues be bypassed, so this update error could go away from that. One of the other things you can do is right-click into Call of Duty, do Manage, and uninstall, and then reinstall it again. Again, you're basically reinstalling it in because maybe something did get corrupted along the way. Even the Verify Integrity files couldn't find it or fix it, so doing this make will make it go away. And the final thing you can do is sometimes it could be a network related issue. So you could write network connections, go into this, right click into what you're connected into. So Wi-Fi or Ethernet doesn't matter. Right click into whatever you're connected into. Go to Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, go into properties, change it to the use the following DNS server addresses to 1.1.1 and alternate to 1.0.0.1. Press OK, press close, restart the console, or the, I should say client, uh, or computer, and then go from there. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys like the video, please smash that like button. If you guys enjoy, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'm moving out. Peace.